Hey guys, in this video I'd like to take a look at Windows 8 build 7989. Um, you would have just um, seen the new um, boot screen and this is the new login screen or this is how it looks at this stage. It can obviously um, change before the final release. And as you can see, um, Microsoft have um, developed this fancy wallpaper. Um, more or less um, telling their employees that they will um, face disciplinary action um, up to and including termination if they leak this release and one of them obviously has done so. At first glance it looks um, very much like Windows 7. The first um, difference that you probably notice is um, the um, icon in the bottom right hand corner which will obviously um, usually display your profile picture and if you click on the icon you get this mini menu here my settings, my looks, which user, log off, lock PC so what will open up if I click my settings it will just open up um, you know the control panel settings really you know so um, for example I should be able to um, change my picture shouldn't I? Okay password, change your look, it must be change your look. Ah yeah. So you click change your look to change your picture. Um, I am just going to select the cat and click OK and as you can see I now have a cat in my taskbar. So I could have changed um, that quicker if I just clicked um, you know my look um, and you can also set up a pattern for pattern logon um, they've you know sort of copied Android a bit um, though you know I can sort of you know create my own logon pattern um, you know this is um, obviously good if you um, install Windows 8 on a tablet so I'm just going to set one up now and I just need to um, repeat the pattern and I'm, and I'm about to um, try logging on using the pattern and you also you should also be able to um, log on using your password if you forget the pattern I imagine okay I'm just going to lock the screen now and there is more logon options so I can either log in using my password or the um, logon pattern so yeah this is pretty neat if you're running um, Windows 8 on a tablet though they have obviously um, you know copied Android really um, what else do we have here you can change it or delete it what's this enable touch access oh yeah this must be for touch input well I'm not on a tablet so that doesn't really matter much and um, we have um, this sort of keyboard here um, it's, it usually are, uh, yep, here it is. Um, I'm not sure if it is um, displaying correctly. I'm currently running, um, you know, Windows 8 build 7989 in the virtual machine and I haven't enabled um, 3D acceleration. Um, so I don't think it's supposed to look like this. I think it's supposed to have an arrow effect. I believe um, the task manager is different. I can click start task manager. This is what it looks like and if I click more info we have um, processes, startup and users. So for processes we have you know all of the different processes currently running and you know it easily displays you know the CPU usage, memory usage, um, disk and network usage. Uh, we have all of the startup applications. Um, it's nice how they have now included this um, with our um, task manager. And we also have users. So you must be able to have multiple users logged on at the same time. Or, you know, it's not true multitasking. It's the same as you could previously do, I imagine. Uh, performance dashboard. Oh, yeah. This isn't bad. So yeah, here you um, are, you have all of you, you know, your graphs, etc. that you had before. Ah, oh, and we also have um services and yeah, processes. 
So yeah, I don't mind the new um, task manager. Um, you know, it doesn't, you know, it still looks um, pretty functional. And they obviously have um, this less information mode. Um, it must only display, um, you know, the applications you currently have open. So if I open up Internet Explorer, I imagine that it will um, populate in this um, list. This is, um, you know, a bit of a basic, um, you know, a basic view for, um, you know, non-tech savvy people really. We also have um, this ribbon at the top here in um, Windows um, Explorer. Um, you know, you're probably used to it now, you know, it's been in Office 2007 and 2010. Well, I should point out that um, I downloaded this off um, the Pirate Bay um, and I also used um, Red Pill. Um, it's sort of like this um, program to unlock um, the features. Um, I will find it here. So Red Pill Enabler. I'm just going to run it now. I believe that you will need to um, download and run Red Pill Enabler if you want to enable features, um, you know, such as, um, you know, the new, um, you know, um, task manager, etc. So um, here it is, Red Pill Enabler version 1.4. Um, you know, it's create applications folder when the desktop is enabled, um, activate hide blur, I'm not sure what that is, unlock 99% of the icons in Ribbon Explorer, use pre-beta official icons, install new task manager, which I've currently got and it's um, set as the default task manager. And yeah, um, I originally enabled all of these options along with um, Red Pill, though, um, you know, these two options um, must have disabled themselves. Um, and also, if you use Red Pill, you need to be patient. If you select all of the options and enable Red Pill, then you might have to leave it for 10 minutes, and obviously, if you go clicking around, it's not going to respond, so you have to be patient. It's available on the Pirate Bay, and you can also just, you know, Google search, you know, Red Pill Enabler. That's it um, for this video, and thanks for watching.